Good morning, everybody. Or at least to Ryan. How you doing this morning, Mr. Butcher? Looks like it's just me and you. I don't know where my compadres are this morning. One's probably watching commercials. How did I even invite him? There he is. I forgot somebody. Oops. Oh, hang on. Oops, don't want to do that. Hold on. I forgot to invite somebody this morning. Sorry. Because he's on. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. Ed. Hey! And me. Yeah, I forgot you too, Derek. You're right here also. What are you doing this morning, Derek? Are you at work? <coughs> I just linked you. Oh. Sunday fun day, huh? What do you guys think? What are we doing today? Uh, I'm going to try to print another part. Uh oh. For maintenance, probably. How's it going? Got a couple more parts, and then I'll get a break and get to make some of my own stuff. Yeah. Oh no, that's you. That must be me breaking up really bad. I'm gonna try to eliminate some stuff around here. Let's see, that might work. I've been playing with some VPN software. I think my computer's getting worse. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm locking up really bad. What the hell is going on here? They need a good old reboot. No, not me. I don't need no stinking reboot, do I? I wonder if I close, if I pop the chat out. How about the chat? Can I close? That looks like I'm lagged up really bad. Right, can I close that? I have uh, fudge circles. Ed, are you there? I'm here. Okay, well, your screen's not moving. I uh, shut down my everything I can. My screen should be on my printer warming up. Is it just sitting there? Yeah, it's heating up. I oh, just put okay. the card in. Okay, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was locked up. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. And I don't even want to see what the hell my computer's doing. I mean, I got everything shut down. I got douche bot up and uh, pushed this up, and it chat popped out. And uh, that is about it, man. What the hell is going on here? Morning, Mr. Buttram. I guess I didn't make the connection that we were on YouTube. Um, it's Sunday morning. It's eight o'clock, so we're like live. Yep. Hang on. <laughs> hey, we're live, Ed. Well, normally you send me a link an hour before you go on. So I was late this morning. Do what? I was late this morning. Yeah, I noticed that. That's what's got me out of whack. Yeah, sorry, we're yeah, we're live. Yes, I guess. If anything even works. Morning, Derek. I think I said morning, Mr. Buttram, but if not, morning, Mr. Buttram. Uh, 
I'm gonna kill that. Pop this chat out and move it around a little bit. Yeah, um, I had just checked and you and D neither one were awake yet, so or at least online. I was on D, my D I was not in here. Yeah. I don't know if this damn boost spot is working. I don't know what's working around here anymore. I've been over on Twitch playing all morning trying to figure out issues with those free bits on ads. Yeah, I figured you'd be over there. And I don't know, you were so far down on my list that I don't know how I missed you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. So far down on the list. Let me let me write that down. So yeah. far down on Mike's list. Yeah. That's yeah. the way it goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I already had that written right here at the top of the page. You should have. Because yeah. you know what that means, right? What? What that means is that you were like the first one I invited last time, so you got moved way down on the list because as I invite more people, they get uh -huh. put at the top of the list, and, the, and then the first one gets moved down. See? Oh, I see. That's good. good recovery there. Well, if you go into your friends list and you invite somebody to something once in your life, <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with your head. But yeah, that's what that was all about. And I closed down my page. Hope oh, that didn't do nothing. Did I kill YouTube by doing that? <laughs> that's we're still alive. I wonder if I killed YouTube. Uh, I don't know. I did. I killed YouTube after I popped the chat out, but I can look again. Yeah, that's what I did, too. I'm going back right now to see if it's still there. Friends. Uh, I still see my printer printing. Okay, yeah, we're still going. Okay. Because we have one watching, but we got two in chat, so... so yeah, there's only one. Attention. Yeah, uh, Ryan, I think, was here earlier. And he left. All right, so one of you, Ryan or Derek, one is not paying attention to the screen because somebody is two in chat and one watching. Somebody better pay attention. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, three print nerds put out a video. Modbot put out a video. Tivo put out a video this morning. Three D print in Canada. You know, they put one on a while ago, though. Oh, there plenty of them. And so it's locked on you. It ain't even switching over to me, huh? That's all uh -huh. I see if you're dang printer printer too. I'm when I lock on me, it doesn't lock for everybody, does it? No, there, there it goes. Oh, I was going to say. A lot of times I leave my screen locked on me just so I can keep an eye on my printer. Yeah. While I'm talking to you guys. Understand. But then sometimes I miss chat because of that. So now it says there's five people watching. Five people watching. That's what it says, ish. Yeah, I don't freaking know how this for because we're just not fun today. Mister D must be sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I should be, but yeah, for some reason the dogs done. woke me up an hour early today. Yeah. What you got planned for today? I have no idea. I gotta wait for her to get home at eleven I think she gets home at eleven thirty today and then we'll see what she's got on the books. Uh -oh. Got a doctor's right. appointment tomorrow, so yep, yep. Seven calls. What's up, Tom? Good morning. Oh, just chilling. My face cam ain't working today, so you guys are all in good shape there. You don't have to look at that. I appreciate that. 
Don't have to look at my ugly mug. Oh, I forgot to turn on my overhead light. It's a little dark. How's the printer coming over there, anyways? Uh, it's pretty good. I haven't done anything since the last stream. I'm trying not to do things unless I'm on camera with it, because yep. anybody that is following along would, I assume, would like to see the progress as it's being made, not after I've done it. Yeah. I know yeah. I would want to see people do the stuff. But maybe people get tired of seeing me screw it up, so... Well, you can do like D. That's why you do it beforehand and then take it apart and redo it. <laughs> Come on, D, right? Where's Mr. D at this morning? I don't know if he's even awake yet. Still not awake. Like to see screw things up. Yeah, I know. That's the fun of it all, you know? I got a little dilemma here with my, uh, I hate the, the end stops on the enders, or on reality period. All their end stops suck. I just ordered a set of end stops. Well, they're all inverted, you know? Yeah, that's no big deal. Well, it is because, you know, eventually they get kind of wore out and they flip down. You know what I mean? The, the, the oh, you mean the arm is facing? Yeah, it's the wrong direction. Yeah. I thought you meant the wiring. No, the, the the arm is inverted. So, you know, if it pops out at all, then it lays flat, and then you're not hitting the arm. Then you just gotta hope you hit that little button. You know, I got you. In the ass and print you some print some little kind of keeper that'll prevent it from. Swinging on past the yeah, center or something. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'll put a rubber band on it or something. Well, then you gotta put a rubber band all the way around the Y axis. <laughs> There's all kinds of things you can do with it. Yeah. I picked up some fans from my control board boxes, but they're all too big. So now I gotta debate do I wanna buy a smaller fan or do I wanna print a bigger box? We went to a couple Goodwills yesterday, which was a bad move because I didn't think about it being the first Saturday of the month. Yeah. First Saturday of the month, everything's half price, which was good, but I hate the crowds. So. Oh, yeah. But I picked up two, you know those things that you lay, you lay down under your laptop and they have fans in them to cool your laptop? Yeah, yeah. I picked up two of those for a buck a piece. Oh, wow. And then I picked up an air purifier, a small desktop air purifier with a filter in it for two bucks. So that gave me five fans for three dollars. Four dollars. Man, that's a good deal there. Well, I thought that was pretty good, but they're too big. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure what size they are. Let me see here. Look at what creeped out of bed this morning. There's Mr. D. He finally decided to get out of bed. So I was just saying, holy smokers. Let's see. Let me switch cameras here. And so they're, they're basically the same freaking thing there. So it's really irritating. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with the red one at an angle. Yeah, I was awake. The computer didn't want to wake up. Ah, uh, period. I've been play. I've been all over the world already. Oh, I was up for a long time, and then I don't know. I hit about four thirty, and I thought, well, hell, maybe I'll lay down and take me. In. So I installed a VPN on my computer and was seeing poking around going to uh, let's see I went to Sweden and changed my IP address to show my computer in Sweden and um, Australia and Los Angeles and Virginia and all kinds of stuff just playing alright so now I've already dismantled all the equipment but 
There's two nice fans right there for yep. a buck. And they are 80 millimeters. So those are those were the options I was hoping was going to fit my control box, but I think my control box needs 60 millimeters. So that's why I say I either got to get smaller fans or build bigger boxes. But and they came with a couple nice grills. And then the other laptop cooling unit, whatever. What size are they? No, that was the big ones. These are 70. I didn't know they made a 70. I thought they were 60s and 80s. These are oh, 70s. You're getting some goofy sizes. Yeah, these are the ones actually that are... I could actually bolt these to the box, and the holes in the box would just be a little bit smaller than the blades. So I, I could use those if I decide to. And then the air purifier, that's kind of neat because I saved some of the components. I saved all the components for the electronics. Got me a snap-in grill if I ever want to use that. But this one is just basically a computer fan, I think. Yep. Vixen DC brushless fan, 12 volts. This one's this one's 12 volts. Them others, all those others are 5 volts. But this one come with a circuit board on it. And it's got a digital readout and it's got some buttons and Oh, you can push buttons and everything, huh? Yeah, it's got let's see what the buttons say. I don't remember. Go and not go. Um, looks like like plus minus. Probably won't focus, but plus minus timer and speed. Oh, so you got speed speed control and a timer circuit. Yeah, and then it's got a digital two digit um, LCD. Four buttons, a power plug. So I figured those parts are worth saving no matter what. Yep. It's for 12 volts. So I don't know if there's anything else that I would ever need to control speed or time on. But well, just for a fan, it might be nice, you know? Yep. Yeah. And just for anything, cooling fan on a box, you can speed control on it or anything. Mm -hmm. And then one of the other sets of fans, the 5-volt fans. All, all depends, too. If it's a 12-volt, you can always get some of those LED strips, and they, if it's a TTL, it might be able to use it as a dimmer. Oh, I never thought about that. I'll bet, I'll bet it is. I'll bet. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell from the back. Oh, yeah. It's all I see. It's probably all yeah. That's all digital logic. So I'd be able to... Yeah, I could use that on 5-volt LEDs. Awesome. 12-volt LEDs. Oh, yes, yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's 12-volt. Yeah, well, uh, you, have to, you have to check. The LED outputs might be 5-volt. Yeah, I've got 5-volt, 12-volt, and 24-volt LEDs. Okay, so I just got to make sure I line that up. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool, you know. This one, this one here was the air purifier, and it was like a dollar ninety nine. So, and I figured I couldn't buy the fan for that. So, now with the control board, that's for sure. And then one of the other sets, I don't. That set here, the seventies. 70s are the ones that came with those grill guards. They, they're they made with a USB plug right on them. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yep. Yeah, somewhere there. There we go. Oh, you know where the camera is. Yep. Even like you use it on the Raspberry Pi as a cooler. 
Exactly. That's what I was thinking. And then the 80s that came out of that laptop cooling deck came, if I get it plugged in right, it's actually got a little circuit board that all it has is a, a barrel plug and a push button on off. I thought that would come in handy, so I figured I'd save all that junk. Even if I don't use it for my control board for the printer. I didn't even think about the LED, though. The dimmers and stuff on that. Dimmer and timer for the LEDs. That would be nice. Morning, Joe. How's it going? Good deal. YouTube, son. I was playing and I ended up... Uh, Messing with the i3 and boosted it to 150 millimeters. Oh, yeah. And it imprinted that. Get the stringing down a little bit? Oh, I, not the cube. I didn't. I just went through and. Uh, uh, down a little bit. Ran the uh, hypercube. Oh, not the hypercube, but my i3. Yeah. I said, well, let me do it. Let me try it at 150 millimeters per second. Bit. With no supports in there and everything, and it printed that. So I can't complain. Well, you can, but nobody will listen. Yeah. But it was printed in that orientation. So it did, did rather well, nice. even, even at 150 millimeters. Didn't take long to print it. I bet. Uh-oh. Did that head freeze up? Yep, head froze. Use the popsicle. Add your popsicle. Head's frozen. I see him. <laughs> He's a popsicle. They got his pictures frozen with them. Yeah, flipping us off. Yeah, flipping this off or digging on his face or doing something. Yeah. Nice. All right. I think I'm going to do is take this back off. Let's slide this in there. Got to put a cornut in there, though. How's your project coming along there? Well, I think I'm going to do it just naked without nothing. Just use a slide. Put a slide in there, and then um, I find a nut here, and then uh, put it in there, and it braced up at an angle, like, and I think it might be all right. I think I don't know. I definitely can't use that one. I just gotta find the right stuff for it, you know. Yep. All right, good morning, everyone. Hey there, guys. Hey, good morning, Ron. How are you doing this morning? Oh, there it is, right there. Trying to figure out the why and stop here on this ender thing. I'll use that one. I just fan my cable down. It's hooking on my belly. That's the one I want to use, maybe? No, I don't want to use that one. I want to use a good one, I think. I'm just going to use it in case I want to move it that way. I'm going to use this one. Um, a screwdriver. I am doing well, thanks. That's very, very cool. I'm glad you're doing well today. I'd love to get start putting that damn ender back together. So what did you break? Oh, I break everything. You know that. Well, I'm trying to figure out the end stuff for the, for the y-axis on my ender. Besides that, not much. Give me a minute, though. Am I the only one that crashed? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you froze up. 
You was a popsicle with your finger up at us and everything, you jig up. Flipping us off like that and then leaving. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try this again. I don't know that much about VPN, so I've been tinkering with one all morning, and apparently the VPN does not like me being in a hangout. No, I guess not. Or the hangout don't like you being in a VPN. One yeah. or the other. Yeah, it tends to throttle you too. Good morning, folks. Hey, he's back. Good morning, Mr. Butler. Good morning. What's the fine word today? Huh? Yeah, I got this one. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to try to get all my screws back in here and see which ones are stripped out, because then I'm going to have to uh, fix that problem, too. I think we will go uninstall that VPN. I don't know about this. Uninstall program. Here's how to uninstall apps and programs. Yeah, that's not what I want. Word for today. Control panel. Yeah. All right. This one ain't broken. I just gotta put it back together. That's this word. Word, man. I even printed me the part that I lost. I got that printed. Painted. I even painted it. I can't believe. It. Actually, painted a part. Pretty pretty long too. Uh, see on this one now. I put a bunch of Loctite on this son of a bitch. And stuff. Phew. Yeah. I'm messing with my son's birthday caps. Birthday? What the hell is that? Oh, crabs. I thought you said cats. That's what it sounded like on the old uh, interweb here. Bless you. Thank you. Shirt that I'm wearing today just keeps on sticking to my desk. Get you though. Alright. That problem's gone. Gone, all gone, you sure? Well, should be gone. I was just trying to get around a blockade. I wanted to see if that would work. It did not work. It didn't work. Oh, hell. Birthday dice game. LOL crafts. There's some in there. Put some on here. Put a little bit more. Put a bunch of on here. See what happens, huh? LOL sounds like fun. When's his birthday today? Mr. Buttram? Birthday today? It might almost make some more threads, I don't know. I'm going to drill a hole right down through there and send it through, too, I guess. This one's going to be the fun one because they're a bunch of super glue. My there. two year old baby needs a new sippy. Come on, seven. <laughs> Not today. Next Saturday. Ah. Got to make sure it works, all right. We gotta send that in there. I don't know. Looks like it might be pretty big. Let's send a smaller one through there. How about that for When in doubt, you pull out the little baby girl girl. Let's go a little bit bigger. 
super glue on your neck. I don't like it. Sounds like my little girl girl needs a little bit of a um, tune up. She needs a battery tune up. Yeah, you got freaking pneumonia or something there, buddy? That's all I can do. Uh, that CPAP machine, for some reason, I always get boogered up in the morning. I wonder if I could do it to this one too. A little bit of lock right on there. What do you think? Maybe. Or will that just melt up to this and kind of blow ass? What now? I'm out of frame. Sorry. We're putting tractors on plates and cups because my time isn't worth as much as a few seven dollar plates and cups. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Makes you feel good, don't it? Well, usually the wife comes up with the idea. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to do it. We have it done in time. That's all that matters, right? And done to their exact specs. Yeah. Need coffee. Need yeah, I just went in and got a cup going myself. And you guys gonna figure out just put the coffee at the damn desk. <laughs> exactly, D. Great ideas and theory. And I have to come in and make them all work. That's what I need a drug for. I need a drug so I don't shake. All these other drugs they got me and I can keep. Except for my methadone, of course. My gabapentin. Oh, I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, isn't that nice? I'm talking about yours. No, I'm talking about mine. Yeah. I thought so you maybe. Made for months. I needed some screws to bolt my Arduino down to my new case, and I didn't have any. Put those screws in before the motor wiles. But I took all them screws out of those things last night to get those fans out, and now I have some. There you go. screws. Well, see, I did. I did do that. I ordered TL smoother for my inet There you go. At least it'll be running nice and smooth when it starts on fire. <laughs> that, that, that's what I thought too, Mr. Buckham. It was a very good idea to do something like that. And so I did do that. Then I had to take it apart. So I wasn't going to take them screws out again just to put them screws in. So I got done this way. So that okay with you now? Yeah. Oh, well. Is that okay with you, Mr. Buckley? Huh? Just done it. Make sure. 
Was that you, Mr. Butcham, that did the, uh, got the scanner working for the, uh, the connect? This one's going to be too freaking off, too. Uh. My internet is safe now. I did all the mods to make it safe. I know. No. Do it again. Do it again. I had to do it a minute and you did it. What are you looking around here this morning? I swear to Quran, sit down, man. That's my idea with this now. My tank. Yeah, man, if you put shit together right and not be such a damn moron sometimes, <laughs> son of a bitch, life would be just so much easier. Moron. I gotta take it apart again after I just got done putting all that crap on there. Son of a bitch. I can't believe this stuff. Inchbot doesn't talk as fast as I type. Yeah, I know. The well, conversation changes before she says what I typed. LOL. Then it's because I think my LOL. computer doesn't let it. My computer's a POS. Well, you just need to plan what you want to say about 10 seconds sooner. Yeah, think about what you want to say. Yeah, sit. answer the question before it's asked and you won't have a problem. There you go. Problem solved, Mr. Buttram. Battery's like that, but it's still faster than me. <laughs> Hello, well, I have. The answer will suck your head. Yeah, suck it, Ed. You know, when you put these on there, you put that nut in there, that nut's supposed to go towards the inside, not the outside, you doofy bastard. Now you put it in there just like that. No. All right. Well, there's one part. Yeah. Got my boards mounted. Now I need to figure out what I want to do with my freaking fans. working on I am putting the ramps boards in my control case now that I found some screws but it looks like that's about as far as I'm gonna get and until I get the right size fans, because these don't fit in the case. I'd have to mount them outside the case. So, I'm still in a holding pattern. What printer? The big one. Or his big new printer that he's building. Yep. Uh-oh. That's not That's good. And it's building a printer as fast as old people make love. Hey, I'm old. That's what it's got to be. He's not sure if he's building a, a Piper or a, uh, a, or a uh, paper cube because it's like in between. Who, me? Yeah. No, I haven't even started the hypercube yet. 
Well, the one you built it now, you're not sure what it is because it's made out of pipe that's kind of extrusion. Yeah, it's a round extrusion. You just got to be the first at everything. No, I just got to be cheap. And that yeah. stuff was free. Mama said, if you want a printer, you're going to have to build it with what you do. Right. He's building a pop pop cube. Free. What's free? Pop pop cube. That oh. round extrusion I'm using. Hey D. Yes. That minion box that. That's what you're using, right? Yep. Did you have to adjust the model or clip some ears off of Muffins. the power plug? Happy morning. No, because it. Uh, I'd have to make that all myself, and I ain't messing with that this morning. Because on top there's two little keys. Building an automated ironing board. <laughs> at the top of the model. Oh yeah, I didn't try to plug in that yet. But... Oh, you haven't used it yet? No, not yet. Oh. Because okay. that's going on a 300, so. Okay. Well, apparently we're going to have to clip off those two little ears to get that plug in there. Well, I'd probably just make a, take a thing and make a slit. Make a notch in it? Yeah, just slit the case. That's just because you don't want to take any chances of plugging it in upside down and wiring it backwards like Mike, do you? Oh, you still always have a chance like that because you can always uh, put the wires in backwards to begin with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess there's still an opportunity there. <laughs> you still mess it up like me yet? Just give it a minute. This Did put it in the wrong hole. Okay, and the wrong Found some screws to mount my boards. Yep. Out of those laptop coolers that I bought yesterday, so that worked out good. You see, there's six dollars worth of screws off Amazon. Yeah. Or I mean the local uh, local hardware store. Hardware store. Probably got some screws that'll work in the bottom as well. One is upside right. Move it out, which I think I want to because it's stopping way early. Yeah, we're we'll to try to move her out a little bit more. Not the right size. Alan, that's a darn sure. You already have the fans for your minion box? No. No, they're. Oh. I got them down there. It's kind of an oddball size, but I've got them. It looks like 60 by 60. Yeah. I thought I might be able to make those 70s work, but if I did, I'd have to bolt them to the outside.
I think I'd rather just find the 60s. Yeah, I, think I found a 50 millimeter adapter. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, I never thought about that. I could make an adapter. Yep. Damn, you're just full of good ideas this morning. Somebody woke up on the right side of the bed. What size bed are you going to use? As well as possible. I think that has got, what do you got at 400, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got a 400 by 400. And then it's going to be about 550 tall. I got it 440, I think I ended up with on my travel for the Y. And I can do a 500 bed wide. You want me to chomp chomp? The heated okay. bed I bought was. We're selling chomp chomp. You want me to chomp chomp? Hot beverage sip sip. We're selling chomp chomp. You want me to chomp chomp? Hot beverage sip sip. We're selling chomp chomp. Just missing vegan. Morning, Ben Lama. That's funny right there. How you doing this morning? That's funny, Ed. Hey, I'm not subscribed to Ron Connors. Yep, he's yeah, that way, I am now. Yeah. I already subscribed yesterday. Yep, there. Other, day day when, other day when you come in. Other day when you come in, I should. Yeah. Well, I think this is the first uh, time I've seen him. If Ed would come around anymore, he'd notice more of this stuff. Hey, you know on the weekends I gotta go work in the store. No, I'm talking all freaking week. <laughs> Some crazy thing like uh, babysitting. Babysitting. Yeah. Would you like to hear a two-year-old getting in trouble and <laughs> running around going crazy all day? Because I will gladly turn the camera and microphone on and just irritate the shit out of you with it. Yeah, I don't. I thought I was being considerate. Yeah. Considerate would be you have a show to do. I can't babysit. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. I know. I'm just giving you crud, my friend. All right. So, I got to figure out where to put those notches. Oh, I think the y-axis is ready to go back on. Welcome to my life, Ed. Yep. Oh, I know, Mr. Buttram. I'm, I'm on my second go-round. MMMM breakfast. Had to use croissant for replacement for English muffin. Welcome to mine, too. I'm at the in-between stage. She's 12, so... In between little problems and big problems. Yeah. Exactly. i done the kid thing. I'm doing the grandkid thing. I got 14 grandkids, and now I'm babysitting a great nephew. You ought to start charging. You wouldn't have to get a job. You'd have money. You should charge. You know what you should charge them? Film it. I need a roll of film in every week. Roll of film in a week, huh? Yeah. Well, hell, I could just, I could just sell them on eBay and kids make some money. Yeah, the kid. <laughs> you should start a baseball team. You got enough of them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We drove what an hour, hour to hour and a half to a band contest, sat there for 10 minutes and then drove for an hour, hour and a half back for a saxophone silo, or a solo silo. Isn't that what they make YouTube for, or video camera, or cell phone? Oh, Ed? Yeah. Does she have her own sax? Uh, no, she's got the school sax. Oh. Printer one. She may have one of her own of a regular sack. I don't know. I don't know all about that stuff, but something about she wanted to play a baritone sax, which yeah. I guess is the big one. Yeah. 
because the littlest girl had the biggest saxophone and this great big huge guy had a little bitty saxophone. I was like, what the hell's wrong with that? Hey, Ed, how old are you? You look around my age. Uh, he's freaking old, man. I am 52 going on 80. He's freaking old. He met God once. Older than dirt. Yeah, he met God one day. Back when he was just a little baby. <laughs> God was that was. Oh. You're 54? <laughs> yep, I'll be 53 in May. You people and your kids are crazy. I remember my childhood. No way I'm stupid enough to subject myself to a little me. Screw that. Face with rolling eyes, face screaming in fear, face screaming in fear, dizzy face, dizzy face, rolling on the floor, laughing face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. Okay. Now, Ben, you'll have kids someday. I know I don't look like I am 54. I'm 34. Going on 18. Well, I'm 40. Seven going on sixteen. Except for I don't like to drink anymore. Sixteen year old guy, they most of them like to drink. Well I would give advice I would give advice to the younger generations of not the age. Don't work yourself to death and don't work two and three jobs your entire life and don't work seven <laughs> eighty hour weeks. But I don't think there's much fear of that. Oh, no, you get that all done when you're young and just put it in the bank and don't spend it all. Trust me. 53. Oh. Wait, hello, L54 today. Yeah, it's a going that's right. It's a llama llama ding dong birthday. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. I got four cookie cutters that I need to send to you. Or that I <laughs> Happy birthday, old man. <laughs> I will be 55 steps first. I'll be 48 day before Murph. Or whatever, day Murph starts Friday, right? I think it's Friday. Okay. I just gotta find my damn mouse again and I'll look. Happy birthday, old man. 57 is on its way here. Oh, um, oh, Thursday, the day before March starts, yeah, Thursday, I turn 48, I think. 48. Shoot them over. I have some time this year morning to play. Okay. I'll try to find them here. I had them somewhere. Where did I put them, D? D was trying to eat like hell. He got a couple of them halfway decent. What's that? Oh, okay. I sent them okay. on, on Discord. Yeah. I think that's how I sent them to you, too. I just got to find the Lama Lama Ding Dong. There he is. Now we got to go in here. Oh, I got it open. I just did your own things. Yeah. Let me see what I can do here. Open that up. Which ones? I just don't remember now. Hmm. Hmm. I bet I can bolt that display right to this box. A second. I am loving the octo print. I 
and an octo print so it makes things a lot easier. Yeah, octo print is nice. No, I'm not sure about that one. Down. I gotta go there. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, By golly, I can. So I want your print work with Raspberry Pi to zero. Uh, it'll run, but it's not the greatest thing. The, the zero just doesn't have enough memory or speed to run Octo print very well. I tried one and had issues. Yeah. Very sluggish. But the Zero doesn't have the HP. Okay, I will need to get another B and then you definitely don't want to run the camera and octo print on a zero. I run a three B and a three B plus. work too. You just don't get all the extra USB ports. That is some bright lights. Alright, that's the end of me and 3D Saudi Tech. I'm over this. Oh yeah? Yeah. We can have that shit. HTTPS colon slash slash www.adafruit.com slash product slash 4027 question mark SRC equals sign Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Print the temp tower. Alright. Go back down here. So 
So you like the three D Solutech stuff that much, huh? What's he bitching about? Yeah. I just started another print and that sucker was stuck tight, so I stretched it to the laundry room again. We'll get this roll used up and then I ain't buying no more. You like send, stuff send, send Solutech an email. They ever coming out with the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm out of here for a while. All no right. errands to run. Talk to you all later. Have a good one, Mr. Buck. Drop in your Discord there, Tom. All right, who else we got around here? There. I'm done with my cigarette. Well, we can tell. Right, I think I like that idea. I'm just going to take the mount that I have for my display and bolt it to the side of that minion box and I don't have to reprint anything. There you go. Saves me a bunch of plastic. There you go. So it's going to rain. Now you guys see my open RC? Come on. Here it comes. The bed. A literal bed. <laughs> Oops, I just made a freaking mess. But yeah, that's gonna be the RC car for me. A sneaker beaker right here. Worked on that some yesterday. 3dsolutech.com. Yep, and you can actually get to them. If you bought it through Amazon, you can get it through their link on Amazon. See if I can get to right. Well, I get this all painted today. I painted all this today. Did that work on this here right now? Get this all hooked up. All I have left to do is this. Tomorrow we might be able to have this thing running, huh? And that's what we're going to do. 
I can paint all this right now. Run this bitch tomorrow. What do you think about that? I don't think. Try not to. I think that's going to be a good idea. I think that's what we're going to do. So that means we got to take that bitch off. I need to find what fits here. I don't fit there. It just one fits there. This one fits there. We'll take these all off so I can paint them. And we're going to box here once we get this all done. We didn't close to having this thing done, but then I got thinking of something that I could do to it. I know I shouldn't be thinking about it, but I am. It's been clicking around in my head here for the last couple of days. I know I should just leave it, but God, I want to do it. Because I'm almost done. And freaking Phillips, in it? Yeah, that's a freaking fella. You can fight with that all day long, dummy. Red and black, right? Right on that side. You sure? Black on that side. Looks like it might be just about one time use. It'll bend to them after a while. Are these screwed in or what the hell are I doing here? Get a coat hanger and hang all 
this shit so I can paint it. Oh, that looks good. I'm just gonna bet you it's just gonna be a treat to paint, huh? Track package return and replace shared gift ask a question. I didn't have nothing freaking small enough to fit. Crickets in the house today. Yep. There you go. What's your print there, D? Temp power. Rubber. Print the temp tower. Yeah, I kind of get a handle on the temperatures. It's yeah. That helps sometimes, you know. That thing was stringing, stringing yesterday doing that test print. Kind of what I found out about it is just uh, that volcano heats so efficiently that I got to drop the temperatures back about 8 to 10 degrees Celsius from what I normally run. Kind of know where they stay and go and why they're there. What they're for. Otherwise, I forget where they are and what they're for. Uh, 
probably shut up the paint box, huh? Clean up a little area over there so I can make some room. Let's just put the nuts in there. There we go. That's a damn good place for the stuff. Hot. Hot. What's hot? Hey, David, what's going on? How you doing, my old buddy? Candy David's on. Oh, got her out. Oh, I must have glued her in. A little bit up there, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Right. Nothing much. No? Yeah, I caught a couple of your little quick little live streams there, buddy. Now you're getting banded from chat now. Seeing how you're underage. What do you think of that? What YouTube's doing now with kids? Yeah. Because there's kids in there and they might not want to be in there when they grow up in the porno. I, mean, I, I can't believe they're doing porno or child pornography for kids. Well, isn't there... Uh their supposed community standards against that? Against what? Against kids on there, you mean? Well, just in general, their community guidelines. Well, yeah, I know, but they're do some idiots are doing some goofy crap in the chat, and they, I don't freaking know. Weird, man, is what it is. Yeah, but they won't ban those assholes. No, I know, because it's their freedom of speech or whatever, but so they got a, any of that chat with kids in the chat or on the video or whatever, they delete the chat or whatever, so I don't freaking know. So I don't know what my daughter in here. They I, I think it's time to just ban YouTube. Yeah. I think I'm going to make some more of these. I think he's made standing up for me. He came out kind of shitty. Right, some of the videos in your archives or whatever are going to be gone. Or not gone, but the chat's going to be gone on him. They're kidding. Oh, my God. I don't really understand what the hell they're talking about. Over my P3. Touch my videos, I'll kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, they'll try to ban everything. Except for the problem. Except for the problem. Yeah. The hell is up with that, man? Well, and not only that, it's like at some point in time, people have to realize there's a little thing called personal responsibility. Yeah. That if the parents are not watching the kids and knowing what they're doing, there you go. it may not be everybody else's problem. Well, I hear you. But of course, that ain't going to work out. I don't know if I should just buy an extruder or print one. Do a who? Either buy an extruder or print an extruder. Well, you can try. They're not. The extruders really ain't that easy to print, to tell you the truth. Well, I have the one on there. They printed it. 
works well, but you know, still kind of thing. I like the aluminum bases and aluminum arms on them. Well, I mean, I would. I mean, I'm going to change my tomato over. I got that. I'm finding all the parts for my aluminum aluminum extruder, my other one that I had. So I'm going to take, end up taking that um, that one off of my my tornado once I get all the parts together. That printed uh, Titan extruder that I did. Yep. And yeah, I'm going to move it over. I woke up yesterday, you know, my voice my voice and my mouth felt pretty good, you know. I know he sat there bullshitting all day. Woke up this morning, I was hurt. Yep. Yeah. That'll do it then, especially after having all that done. <laughs> yeah. Got all my teeth pulled out of my head, David. Hey, look at that. We're running a tie ball game. Two and two. Two up, two down. Come on, guys. Hit that like button. I wonder who gave you the pound. I wouldn't be able to tell you. That's probably like a total shocker to everybody. Not. Not, not, not. How late are you? Up, LOL. Thanks, Warren Bob. Eh, what are you? Hour and a half late? That's all right. Well, so again, that's all it matters. So you made it here, so you're not late. Yep, we're still on. That's all you got to worry about, whether or not we're on or not. If you leave for a minute, I might be gone. Ask uh, Ron. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry about that you know, yesterday, Ron, or Saturday, Friday. He left, and then he came back. He thought we were still going to be here, and I thought we might be too, but I was just so sore I had to get a break. You know? And uh, he came back, and we were freaking gone. <laughs> Hi, everyone, LOL. All right. You messaged. I thought you were still going to be there. I'm like, yeah, I messaged the back yet. I'm going to message the back there. There we go. That can come off. Wait. Oh, that's light so nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me tell you what. All right, now I'm gonna take this that back off for the fiftieth time and hopefully the last time. Hello, and hey, Top Bob Young. How are you feeling today? He's feeling that good. Hey. That he's feeling that good. Yep. Oh, there's enough of delay in this thing. I know. When I take half of it, it's my computer. Oh, um, it has to process some information. I just don't know nothing. You know? And that stuff's right there. I think I'm going to take a heat gun and just or something to get the groove down into this so that it's in there. Yeah. Where's that one? Okay. 
that tank room. Oh, I gotta take that tank thing off again. Just put it on. It don't want to fit right. No. Nope. Why would it want to do that? Get out of there, you dirty bugger. One there. Now clean it up or just go for it. But you that's not really good. Oh yeah. And I could probably take my flap sander to it, huh? Shut my mic off. I bet you I could go through this real quick then. I um, might think about that. I think I got it hanging up over there. Get her sanded down and uh, oh. Why not? Girl, I have no it. Was it? Oh, something went wrong again. Damn it. Just irritating. You never go where I train you. Neck and neck in the ball game. Damn tools, though. There we go, rain. I'm going to try it. I'm the non important one. I'm going to mute myself, gentlemen. Matter, Ben. I was confused by it. Try 
trying to get the hydro cube tweaked in, print the temp tower now. We got the filament E steps kind of tweaked in. Turned on yesterday and it got real stringy and crossing. I just shouldn't have tried to run anything until I tweaked everything in. But I can't complain about the quality. Nice painting. We'll get it done, finished, tweaked in, get everything running nice so I can do all the cable management there on the, the hot ends. Does anybody else out there have any projects that they're working on this morning?
of sleep. Still a little steady, getting better. It looks like 05, 200, going to be about maybe even lower, 195. How's it going, Ed? I'm um, riding pretty side, Dick. I'm printing my temp tower and it's at the right at the, about the 205 temperature block now and it's getting better. Looks like 195, 190 will be a sweet spot. Up a little bit, anyways. You know, I'm building no damn shirt, like I always say. Filler primer will probably be too soft, so I think I'm just going to go with the black and then the clear coat over the top of it. You know? I 
No. Okay. Well, thanks for the opinion, anyway. Yeah. And I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint them. I'm not doing it at 18 degrees or whatever it is outside today. That's not gonna happen. So Wayne is working on his hopper cube. I already talked about that. Hell, I don't know. Am I still online with you guys? Yeah. You bet you are, my fine friend. was calling I had to run out. There we go. Make it look a little better anyway. Did you fix it, Mike? Uh, it turned out pretty good actually. I'm just saying uh, put some I'll just put some paint on here in that varnish or clear coat over the top of it and I think it'll be good. A lot smoother than what it was. I don't want to use that filler primer on it, especially on this. I mean, I could on that. Because, uh, on this, I don't want to because um, I think it might be too squishy, you know, get too much of a mm. squish layer in there somewhere. So, I think paint will get hard enough that it'll be all right with the clear coat over the top of it. Trying to find some satin, but knock my temp tower off. Whoops! Hey, D, you whacked your temp tower off. How was it going otherwise? Down towards the bottom. Was it good enough that you got some information or no? Yeah, it's good enough where I can get an idea what what temperature I got to use. Where you're at. I'll just run this bad boy through here quick. There are some freaking hairs that we might have in here. I got to run between 190 and 195. Yeah? Seems like that's going to be the magic number. That's according to this, yeah. That's what it looks like. I just got to check a few more. Why are you making breakfast? Love some. Layla's still here. She go home already. All right. We'll see if that does anything. She did. Never know what her. She's always gone. They gave him a major crappy review on Amazon and wrote him a huge freaking letter. There you go. Yeah. When I had the problem with it, they ended up sending me a, a roll of stuff, the same stuff. And that's when I printed with that. Then I had that friggin' oil coming out of it. By God, we're going to take care of business because in the letter I included every one of my channels. Yeah. 
that I was going to be I was going to be advising everybody against their product if they did not rectify this situation. And if that didn't work, I was going to turn them into the Nigerian government. And by God, they will send me some free rolls or they are stupid. Yep. There you go. Get them done. I mean, Ed. Keep these names. Yeah. What's ridiculous, you know, to have to unspool a freaking roll all the way through the house. Every couple hours, just so that you can print shit. That's just yeah. nuts. I think that's funny as shit. You know why? Why? It didn't happen to me. Yeah. But guess what? I've never smoked a board. Don't give it time. You're, you're a virgin yet. I don't smoke. Well, you'll start. I test before I apply power. I don't smoke. Okay. I got this recorded, you know. That's okay. Okay. I stand firm on that. Okay. <laughs> I might not get it to work, but I'm not going to blow it up. Okay. Everybody heard that, right? Everybody can hear that. Make a note of it. Make a note. Ed does not blow nothing up and will never blow nothing up in his life because he does. Right. I feel comfortable with that. I need that damn exacto knife, though. I'll get it. What do you get? I told, I told the wife to buy me one of those. They might Walmart for like a dollar ninety nine. You know? Are they? Yeah. Get yourself a medical club, don't they? Don't cost you nothing. Now, now, be careful. <laughs> I know it. Hey, I don't go anywhere with them anymore. They put plenty of Good Order one on Amazon to send them an empty package back. Hello, Ed. Bob, Bob. Hey, Bob. How you doing? Uh, Sorry for my little rant. I'm just a little aggravated at some Solutech filament. Let me go ahead and spin this back around here somewhere. He's mad at the Nigerian government. Hello in there. No problem. Well, see, there's a problem. There is a problem. Wow, Ed really does love Ziltec filament, huh? Face yep. with tongue. Oh, hey, you're not supposed to be starting on fire, you POS. Now, it doesn't have any Ziltec filament yet. Why not? Michael, don't send me none. Well, Don was supposed to take care of that. No, Don was supposed to send me owl filament, and he hadn't sent me none either. Oh, well. I can send you some empty spools, my friend. That's about all I got. That's um, I, I still got my son, Lou, and it works perfect, so. There you go. What do you need to fill in for me for all that? Well, because he says, he says I needed some uh, Zyltec. I'm going to try some eventually. Yep. I ain't the Zyltec king. That's how good. I'm going to try some, and I hopefully it'll uh, print as well, if not better, than my son would, because with these 15% discount, I can get it cheaper. Yeah, I like it. It prints nice. I've printed with it several times. So far. Put your brag in there, Mike. <laughs> Even the ABS is kind of nice. You sent him money. Who, Don? Yeah, he sent Don 100 euros. I don't know. Hey, I got kicked out of... Uh, 
um, Walter's channel again yesterday. Who did? Um, John. John. Let me you you did he? I've printed the rolls of Siltech. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see what he wrote, but whatever it was, they killed it instantly, and he come on the screen and said, Don, I've told you about this over and over. Do it one more time, and you're out of here. I've never seen him again. <laughs> I've been begging again. That's funny. <laughs> when the hell did he... Oh, that's right. He did the thing yesterday. I forgot. How you doing, trucker? Well, I'm going to get all over the place now. Out there. Oh, Ron was sick of pink last night. Chris Riley showed up to the screen again. I don't know what he did to um. I don't know what happened. I don't think he did anything himself, but what happened was the first player. Yeah, he was being there all the time. Have you seen the first player to how poor he is as he said he had for his new shooter? Yeah, he got cut off for that, I think, didn't he? thought they banned him from that now or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, i seen it. I'm so good working on something. And look at his dog really care about. He's doing it again. But not me, man. Take care of it right now. No more. Don't hear it no more. I'm just thinking about my painting box. Put a little fan in there. And you cutting here. <laughs> That's funny. I put a little vent down to the head there. Push that into there. Bring that around, set it in there. Should suck it all right out. Cover up the front a little bit. I think I got this figure out, guys. Yep, I do. Man, I gotta clean that whole mess up right there. You hear my wife playing casino game on her phone? Ron gave me five dollars yesterday just at the end of the stream. You see that? Well, it was five Canadian. And it was three seventy-five U.S., three seventy-eight U.S. I thank him for that. Oh, that was my Zoom. You can't afford to be doing that either. But he did it anyways, and I thought that was mighty nice of him. You know? Yep, yep, yep. He's almost as broke as me, and he did that. That was just mighty nice. And I just got to make some room over here so we can get a box over here. We're going to make a painting booth quick. I'm going to show you a little five-minute paint booth here. It takes me longer to clean the table off than it was to paint. I could almost just use that back there for a chair. Be a lot better than a big motherfucker. I think I'll use that little one. I can use a little box for a paint booth. Yeah. I do. So I 
do the thing. Then I don't have to clean as much up. I can get my lights plugged in. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Just maybe, maybe. Man, that's a bunch of crap. Always with the crap, man. These are four. Yes. Let's get a fair bag. All right. Fair bag. So cruddy over here is full of garbage. I guess that's maybe why I don't use this side. So it's full of garbage, huh? The hell are I for? I wonder. I don't know if them are garbage. The banner for all the not a freaking fidget spinner. More garbage. Floating tubes everywhere. That shit there. I was gonna look at my tip and see what tips I have laying in this box here, and maybe uh, switch out and do a uh, really like a 2.2 layer high tip and print uh, fill the fill box. You know. And a real small layer height like that. Thought it would be kind of cool, maybe. I wish you could play that good at the damn casino, man. I'd take it there. Problem is, she always loses when she goes there, so I don't take her there no more. I got him rolling before the Murph, too. Let's put him bigger and both play his ass. You know, just because it'll be funny as hell. Well, the I almost see the table. Maybe you should stack me on that. This room just could slip right around behind there and stay there forever. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah five, 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 five. I don't that Mike is aware he is talking out loud. LOL. Yeah. Well, I think I'm sitting there listening to crickets at your pop top. That's my job is to talk, keep you entertained when nobody else is talking. So, yes, I do realize I'm talking. I know you can't see me because I was over there cleaning a spot off for the next segment here. So, oh, well. Got to get ready for the next segment, buddy. I had to clear spots so we can get some painting done. I'll look at their box and see if it's big enough. What is going on with the great thing on the bench? On my bench? That's what we're doing right now, buddy. You're painting my room and that's your box, so I don't think. As a extrusion, 4040 extrusion for my tornado. And that's all right, but that might be big enough. Yes. I don't see any end stop action. I fixed it already. Now we're painting. I got my end stuff figured out. You weren't here for that part. You were sleeping, remember? Or no, you don't remember because you were sleeping. You don't sleep the whole day away. You know what's going on, my friend. Down, down, down. There we go. We look over there. How about that? Where we're at right now. This is going to be my little painting box. So we gotta get Bob woke up. We gotta bring him down and do some long range shooting. There you go. I need more beauty sleep. Yeah, you need more beauty sleep, my friend. 
say that. Oh, freaking hell. Oh, but it's 1700 range is going to be ready to use here. I've seen pictures of this. No, I'm just kidding. You've been on the live stream before. One more time. There you go. I'm up. You're up for what? Well, hey, Danny. Danny. Ah, God, I hate that sound. Hmm? Jeebies. Yeah, it's made a damn weeby jeebies, man. Yeah, there we go. How's it going? Okay. I didn't think it was going to be. I didn't think I was going to do what I did at the end of the nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, I know what, man. Long range shooting. Sucks. Yeah. Well, he's we, we still kind of open like this. Bend him out a little. I think. Then we need to cut a hole in the bottom so we can put a fan in here. We're going to suck that air right out of here, man. Well, with the air in there, it definitely needs to be sucked out. We'll put it something like that so you guys almost be able to see in there. What we heard last night, definitely need the air in that room, James. I know it, man. <laughs> I know it. Cut. Flap down. See, got our window fan right down there. Underneath the table, I have a window fan. You need one of them, sir. Cable management, too, but I can't see it. I don't know if I see it. Let me think here. Just trying to think. Don't you see all the smoke? <laughs> I like to go in and grab my fan. I like to grab a magic marker. Something about like that, huh? So who? Just 
This girl screwed a little bit. Another one of them. Pick one that in here. Filter safety first, dude. Yeah, there it is. That's why I'm doing it like this. Filtering it right out the window. So it's not in the house. That's filter safe, ain't it? Right? And then before it goes outside, there's a bunch of uh, shit on the screen that will filter out any fumes. So you're all good there. <laughs> right? Hello, hello, okay, Dad. I just don't want to smell this shit. You know? I hate the smell of the crap, boys. Huh, see? It's gonna be big enough. Yeah. That'll be big enough. Alright. I gotta figure out how to hang this shit. Ain't right there. Where did it clog up your bed? Huh? Please say you're not gonna use rattle cans. On what? What's wrong with rattle cans? Use what you got, trucker. That don't work. From the lab again, my friend. That's all I got. I ain't got I don't have none of my airbrush stuff around. Your LOL hope the fan doesn't start a fire. No, nah, it won't. Oh, that won't happen. I don't think that'd start a fire. That couldn't happen, could it? Oh, you're on start a fire with Lily. No better than that. Hang on, right, Homer? Oh, I know something I forgot. I know it's not bad. Found him. Yeah, it almost works. It sounds like shit. Yeah. Yes, if it's not a contactless fan, it can spark. I know. This is a good little fan, though. It ain't his first rodeo. You know? It's been there, done that before, my friend. Mm. It's been there, done that before, so ready for uh, inspection. Okay, you want to? No, I'm all good, thanks. Looks really good, though. I'm going to buy them signs, but I'm trying to figure out. How the hell? Get inside them grooves, you know? Mr. 
is that good? This is that expensive paint from Walmart that you get, too. I think it was 89 cents a can. <laughs> Nothing but top quality, man. Egg rolls for breakfast. How do you rate Dwayne? LOL. Well, he rates it's not breakfast time where he lives. He said a wife was making me. Fresh homemade. You'll enjoy this, Bob. I ended up putting the. Uh, Here's something to stick in there. I just had something too. Ended up putting a four to twenty powered veracity on uh, six five precision. What the hell did I just do with that? Hand? I gotta find something. I know exactly what I want right now. I don't know what I did with it. Put it over here, put it over there. Big long piece of plastic. I have somewhere. Not really that long, but it's longer than my finger. Say that again, please. Put a the Burris Veracity for the 20 powered scope on the uh, Ruger Precision. 6.5 grade more. We got to go side it in. If it wasn't raining today, that's what I'd be doing. Oh. Wow. I knew that was going to happen, damn thing. POS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Works well together. I did it work pretty good. Yep. Let me let it sit for a minute. Damn thing, I knew that was going to happen. I didn't know why I didn't get it, but it's not me. <laughs> I'm spun it around because stuff that's doing there. Dummy. I got my glue coming, but I got to put. I got my forms. Oh, yeah. And I got my skins ready to do up a bunch of grips. Anybody out there has got a 1911 if they want us that, let me know. Yeah, that ain't no good boy. 
spray paint. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. Hello. Oh, oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, I think so, but it's not really, but it is, and it's not. It's very good. It's so pretty. And for now, as long as I can get it to sit somewhere so it will dry without falling, even on little plants, on little white or blue ones. Where are they? I don't know. I used to find one somewhere. It ain't being used. I wonder what you guys. Oh, right here? There you go. Hey, Mike, you could have just hung them in your closet to paint them. Yeah, I could have, but I might have gotten away. There's too much stuff in my closet. Don't touch that. I'm going to kick your butt, little kid. All right, this one here, we're going to actually do that first. Oh, this is the top side, so we got to put them in the bottom side. Okay. Well, can you even see your face? Nope, I, my, my face cam is broken. Not working today. Um, <gasps> no, it work. And if you touch anything, you will be broken. Also. Where's your other camera? It's like impossible to find the camera. What's that? You can see me right, oh, it's right there. Yes, it is, right there in front of your face. Oh, yeah, I'm stepping up there. I know that. <gasps> well, you have to set up. You, you should find the zebra. I, yeah, I know. I don't know where that is. We got a zebra shoot. That needs to be clear coated. I've been telling her for a long time I'm going to do. Okay. Ooh, I like how it shakes. Why is it so cool? Huh? Why is it so cool? Satisfying. Like the tips of your toes are painted black, LOL. No, they ain't painted black. They're just black. <coughs> From death. Right, my daughter? Right. My, my tips of my toes. Yeah. They're just like dead. You know, you cut off one of these days. I didn't even get up to the side of them. Well, you gotta turn them at an angle here. And we can paint. just stick the tape in, stick the tape in there and just go. Well, and then I run like a soupy salesman. Okay. Yeah, kids just getting up. I mean, that's just pathetic. She's supposed to be my co host, too, and she hasn't been around for I don't know how long. Be on the show. Wake me up, she says, once in a while. And that lasts about two freaking minutes, and then she is out like a light. Light coats, Mike. Go yeah. have a lovely femoral bypass. Fix them up, LOL. Yeah, we'll be all right. One coat, thick and heavy. See how it drips towards the top bottom there? When it all runs down the end there, and you get the little drips down here, that's when you know you got enough. Good day, all. You know, that way, you know, you don't need that, that filler primer. If you just put it all the paint on at once. You out of here, trucker. We'll have, have yourself a lovely one. What did you make me? I made myself some ramen here. You made me some ramen? Yep. My daughter made, made me ramen, right? Trucker, look at what you're doing. I don't make stuff. Oh, that's what. Yes, it does. There's a tad trick on the floor right here. There's a hole in the glove. 
There we go. The big ones are done. What do I got? Just a little stuff. All right. We've got a couple of little things. No. That's all. I want to make sure I get everything. So I'm not doing really Oh. There we go. See, and I just need paint these sides here. These sides here don't really need much, so I'll be all right. I'm going to be happy. You can just sit wherever and dry forever and ever. And then I'll throw on some clear coat. Damn, that will be fine. Your feet are flat. Are they solid with Bill Mike? What to extrusion? Hey, good day, Scala. How are you doing this morning? Um, the, 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 yeah, it's basically, uh, yes, they are, actually. How are you doing today, Scala? I'm going to show you how not to paint crap with my own. Fab heavy, man. Can I go heavy on the coats? Get her just about running stage. That way you don't need no filler primer. I was like, man, I can't see. Wait to see this monstrosity at work. Ah, this one here just be right on the finger. Huh. I just texted or just emailed you know, somebody in regards to a portable dishwasher, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you need that for. Oh, I do. I'm doing <laughs> well, Before you bring anything else in there, you need to get rid of some of the crap that's out there. You guys. Quit. You heard him. What did you say? I didn't say it. Ed said it. What? Knock it off. Quit being a crab. Didn't you hear that come out of Ed's mouth? No. Oh, okay. I thought that was what I heard. What? I don't know. Just messing with my wife. We can All right. Relax on. Now we just got to let her dry. She should be dry in about three minutes. And you throw the clear coat on, it's good to go. <laughs> oh, we let her drive for a cigarette or two. See what these cats got going on. They might hang out until later. They are a little bit heavy, so they might take a minute to dry. There. Well, get the can upside down. Clean the tip off. See, yeah, I could have done a coat of this, but something else you got to worry about. I should do something like that when I got the woods up. I don't know what I need to spray with that, but we'll be fine. You don't have to go outside and see that Dog and dog are all figured out. Piss on the floor. I don't gotta go outside. It's freaking cold out there. Well, you do realize that it's cold outside today, and I ain't going nowhere. It is cold 
And I'm not going anywhere. So you have to go get it. Oh, you got some men there. Get what? Just watch them. Oh, you didn't tell me that part. Why? There you go. Sick her on it. Yeah, it hardly smells like paint in here or anything. Pretty good job there, if you ask me. Uh oh. Ed's got the couch out. He's got his sexy legs out. And I got an elbow. Hey, what's up, Mr. Quacka? The Mighty Duck. The Mighty Cup is in the house. How you doing, Rob? Did you get uh, Ed his button on the way yet? <laughs> Ed, you get your button from Robbie Mac. Uh, I don't know. I thought he was giving it to me at Murph. Oh, you gotta wait for it. Oh, it'd be all right, Mike. How's the world treating you there, Mister Robbie Mac? Doing good. We're doing. Dip painting today. Might as well be dipping it in the paint. Not really want it thick. Yeah, I hear you. Life S U X. Got all my teeth pulled out the other day. Also, they're painting through on our. Yeah, yeah, could do that. Everybody's cracking on my painting techniques. Uh, my face cam ain't working today, so that's couch cam, so. L O L J K. Getting butt. Mike, you could also filter your painting through one of the inside of one of the wife's favorite blouses. LOL. I don't know. Robbie. Yeah, how'd that go? Did you get anesthetic? Yeah. I don't remember a damn thing. They put me, I actually went to the hospital and had it done. Yeah, I lead me, made me strip down, put the butt down on, and everything. Put me the hell out. You know, how you usually can, I can usually kind of remember stuff. I don't remember crap from this one, man. I don't remember nothing. I have an upper. Well, I just, I'm going through it, man. I'm doing it once. Just get it done. My teeth are rotting out so bad that with all these pills, you know, my mouth's always so damn dry. That it's like, you know, I, me and my dentist talked, we said just take them. Big mall. I had to have like four more pulled. You know, and it's like, damn, every year, two, three, four pulled. Just pull them all. It's not like I'm going to be able to take something that someday. I guess I will when I'm dead. Yeah, that was what? When did I do that? Wednesday, right? No, two. Thursday. Thursday. No, it was Wednesday. Wednesday I had it done. Wednesday, yeah. Because you did the show on Wednesday, Dean. Okay. I'll come back for it. Still pretty sore. I'll come back for it. Oh, she leave again? My cousin comes and stays overnight. Sometimes, and she's just like gone first thing in the morning. She's out of here like a freaking rocket, man. 
So I figured out my why and stop. So we do some pain on some stuff. That trip right Are now. you still taking the drugs, Mike? Prepare to lose some weight over the next six months. Yeah, eh? Um, it really didn't give me nothing. They gave me freaking Tylenol and ibuprofen, man. That's all they gave me. <coughs> yeah, I know. I still haven't eaten much. I, I mean, like, I had some brat, but I'd cut them in little chunks just so I could get flavor out of them. Because everything you do, you just swallow. Swallow whole. And so that's all there is to that, you know. Eating a lot of noodles. He's working on his hypercube. He's got a print and he's got a few minor One problems. Mm -hmm. Here I mean hey. Yeah, get her a A. And he's just sort of wandering and never seen mine, you know, sort of floating. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. I think he forgot to turn his volume back up or something. I don't know. You there, Ed? Yeah, I'm here. Ed. Ed, Ed yeah. Oh, okay. We're just checking on you. Oh, well, then I'll be doing good for my then. I take my Draco Dome. Well, I'm on methadone, so. You going to get yours done, Bob? Yeah, I wish I had some in. I wish you'd give me some hydro or something, you know, because damn. I might too for some of that tomorrow. Come yeah, we'll send you some of that. I know. Mail her out, man. You should have done it before the surgery. Oh, met four of them. Okay. Red Foreman, I, I got a pocket full of that. No, oh, okay. I get big bottles. They don't send me no little baby bottles. Or no, this is a gab of pet. They give me big bottles. That I'm, I get 180 of them a month. So I'm down to 30 tablets and 600 milligram tablets. In two weeks. As long as my number's down below five seven, I get to take zero of them. Want to my son giving me help or wanting it? Oh, my wife gave me all kinds of shit for it. So does, but I take those too. Yeah. And when she gets a cavity and a toothache and shit, I'll just give her shit. Uh huh. I don't have that problem. And then I just need to get some something to print some teeth with. How are we doing, Bobby? Messing with the printer. We hear you talking about your teeth. See Ed's lips moving, but don't hear him. I'm talking to myself. When he talks to himself, he don't oh, have to speak. Normal then. Afternoon. Hey, good afternoon to you, Ben. How you doing? Sure, I do a stream, Ben. Nothing comes. How's it going this afternoon for you? This morning for me? You better hush. The trouble starts when he begins answering himself. Yeah, there you go. Well, actually, I was reading. Yeah. You can read? I can. Reading. I can. When well, I was reading pictures. Like you're in a foreign film. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to print them in wood film. And that's what everybody says. Be like, what, old Abe? 
I'm going through the minion control panel box and reading the pictures. Oh. I'm going to have to remix one. There you go, Mike. There you go. And that's on. I've been putting in wood. I have found no that talking a lot doesn't help it. So Bob, the wife will probably like that because he won't feel like talking a lot. I'll be right back. Really? All right. You make another box? Well, I'm going to try to modify this box because I tried to cut those two notches for those keys on that plug. Yeah. It's not enough. It's inset so deep you gotta cut you gotta cut up oh let's see you gotta cut up basically ten millimeters enough to allow the entire plug to go in because if you only cut enough for the keys Any of you guys have a pallet for the MMU you too. don't get a full seating of that plug into the socket. Iron Joe does. So I need to carry that up. Iron Joe, you still in here? You have, yeah, well, um, really? I think Hawk's got a. Oh, yeah, Hawk does too. I just had filament stuck in the tube. In what tube? <coughs> Hawk, you still here? Or you just say afternoon and frickin' walk out the door. You gotta remember how to modify this damn thing in, uh... On your internet? On my internet. Where was it stuck? Mesh. Mesh body. I mean, wow, I know you said in the voting tube, but down by the hot end? Yeah, I'm here. I didn't say Bob. But he's talking about the hot Ah, Joe no longer has an MMU2. Almost every part of it he has had to redesign. Oh, okay, Trucker. Okay. He's got it working, though. Whatever he did do it works good, ain't it? I mean, he's got some just some fantastic prints coming out of it. Yeah, I, know it's, I know Hawk's got a, a pallet. Near the hot end. Yeah, you got heat creep going? Did it? Is it swollen? Is it where it got stuck? Is the filament swollen? Yeah. It's near Joe 10. It's a Joe 2 LOL. Hey, Mike, how you doing, friend? Hello. That's Mr. Red Light. Another one from the Hoosier Club. I was just playing around with using the modifiers to add color to a single color print. I was trying to take it out when it cooled down too fast. Hello at Red 1 GHT 34. Yeah. Yeah, if you're taking it out, you gotta take it out kind of quick. Oh, push it on the bolt. Yeah. Once you start pulling, don't stop. Red light, why you tell it to snow? <laughs> you guys got snow? You guys keep the damn snow. I know I wish it would go away. You go in for a the trucker. It's only going to be 73 here. It's snowing by you, Robbie? 
No snow here. Just frosty this morning. I'm getting a little bit of dusting right now. I'm just we're supposed to get in. They were telling for four to six inches. Now they are AAE in one to two. The old lady went through just north of Muncie now. Yeah, it's just cold as wet, grass asshole here. Nine degrees, wind advisory. Feels like three below. Yeah, snow in here. Maybe a half inch so far at that. I was almost thinking about going to Madison today, but that's not going to happen. When oh, shut up with that 70 shit. I know it. I just do this here right here. This is what I got for dumb. As I say, I used to always give this to my buddy. Kokomo, trucker. There you go. All for you, Mr. D. He can like me. <laughs> I had, a, I had something for him too. I just don't know if I can get him to wear it. Where the hell is it now? I figured I'd open the window and let the cool air in before I have to close it. Let the cool air in before it gets too hot. He's such a dick. No state on 69. Unload near Fort Wayne in M. Oh, that's cool. Shoot his ass next time he says that. <laughs> We got the applause. Sweet. Full auto. 50 caliber. 50? I just got to finish designing my hood piece for the pump. Missed me, but got mine. Oh, Another applause. That one won't What's play. with the bite me? That's for a D. <laughs> because she, uh, What, just because it's cold down here? Cold. My ass. It is. Not what I'm used to. Who's that one? Some of them I get to play there and some of them I don't. I don't know. I just grabbed a few the other day off of the site. There. No more bite me. Ordered a Von Tech and 24 volt E3 DB6 from Printed Solid, but they sent me 12 volt parts. Hopefully, get right one soon. Yeah. And you're in a t shirt and shorts. Me? Yeah. I'm always in a tank top t shirt, short. And I wear flip flops. They're not flip flops, but uh, Crocs, too. 
All year, every year. Call that where. Somebody have to be really, really dead or something for me to put pants on. Most of the time, they get shorts too. Well, this is one part that beats us. And two out the coat. One can equal three. Not when I use it. <laughs> If I can fish it with dry, I can touch it. And that, that, I know that, that dollar paint man just dries like nothing. You see how light I put it on. You go to the hospital like that? Yeah. Easy to undress. Oh, hell yeah. Take out your clothes. Let us know when you're done. Or they ship, man. You run out the door and it's done. Hey, Robbie, got it. About the ender, too. Does your auto home when the print is done? Right. Now I'll be right back again. That floor ought to be dry. If it's helping you probably got a G28 in your end script. Okay, going to go drive through the wildlife and see some birds. You guys have fun. You're stuck, the dog wants to lay down in front of the window. Yeah, they're out watching the squirrels. Ah, there we go. One of the few things I can eat. No, mine does not auto home, so is that all I need to do, trucker? so afraid of stuff touching my teeth. Yeah. It's really cold or really hot and it doesn't bother me anymore. You know? You don't have to worry about anything cold touching your teeth now. No. Just got to make sure like a spoon or anything hard doesn't hit my gums.
No fruit? No. No fruit. No. It's cottage cheese, man. I need just about a gallon. No, that's why you were sounding off yesterday. That's why what? That's why you were sounding off yesterday. Yeah. No, I haven't had none of this in a while. I just opened this up last night. You don't want it to home just at G1Z5 and G1X0Y140. Yeah, but I probably will lose a bunch of weight because I don't eat much. I eat more often. I eat more like I should. I eat more often, just not much. That will move Z up and bend forward. Okay, thanks. <coughs> you back to work, trucker? How'd that go with your other leg? Yet left Friday. All right. But you're glad to be back to work, huh? Take it easy, old man. Graham and Ellie. Yep. Take care of yourself. Uh huh. First part is my cheese. I can't eat my cheese. I got that cup. I sat here to let the cup stomp up. He'll know. At least try to gnaw into something with my gums. <laughs> Three months off dealing with surgeries was more than enough time off. I bet. I hope they got it all fixed up now. Patched up. We're good, another good for another five hundred thousand miles. Yeah. Yeah, it's like my background music. I think I accidentally deleted my damn playlist. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I was messing around with it this morning. You know what happens? I get messing with shit and I wreck it. You know? Not you. No. You wouldn't do anything like that. No. Yeah, that's a quick little breakfast. Uh, I think I'm going to put this away and I'm
Yeah. Well, they're empty. Neither do I. I'll take them. All right. That's worth for the pink birds that we got to, uh, that's the part that's not too dry. Ain't too bad. A little bit of, uh, smushiness there. A little bit there. That'd be all right. Yeah, that'll be all right. That'll be all right. Put a coat on there. Ooh, no, Just let her hang out for the rest of the day and dry out. To be in like Flynn, man. already will yet. Yeah, but I'll send you a link here, but we're going to call her here so Ed can start off there. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Go out there and have fun and stay safe. Okay. Nice to see everybody again. Uh, everybody take care. And uh, get a chance. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you all for coming. And, uh, yeah, we will definitely see you guys in the morning. Um, Papa Top Bob, I sent you a link in Discord if you want to jump in with the, to the Discord and Trucker. I don't know if you'd want to or not, but we do it. So I'll be safe. I sent you a link in uh, Bob and Discord if you want to join in with us for the after show. I'll send one to Trucker too. I don't know if he can or not while well, he's driving. If he's driving, I don't know if he's driving. Then. Mike, I know. I think I sent you one already. Red light. I think I did. Uh, no, that was yesterday. I can send you one here. Anybody wants to join the after show? I'll send out some invites here. So, y'all have yourself a good day, and we will see you in the morning.